Hey everyone, welcome to Geeking Out with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today we are opening the October 2023 box by Page of Cops. This is the newest subscription service by The Witch's Moon. So keep watching. Alrighty guys, so like I said in the intro today, we are opening the newest Page of Cups box. This is the October 2023 box by The Witch's Moon. And then again, this is Page of Cups. So before I open the box, I do want to say, again, this is a brand new subscription service by The Witch's Moon. This is a quarterly subscription service. This is their second box ever from this subscription. This started back in July. And again, this second box ever is the October 2023 box. Now, this box was gifted to me by The Witch's Moon for me to unbox and review here on my channel so I can let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on it. And again, as usual, all opinions here are my own. But before I open the box, I do want to read a little bit about this service, which again is quarterly. As of right now, the subscription is only available in the US, but they are working on having it available um, internationally and also to Canada. So that's pretty cool. So in the US, this is $73. And the $73, that includes shipping. So it's $62 for the box itself, plus $11 for shipping and handling. And it's charged to your payment method once every three months. And the shipping months of this service are as follows. We have January, April, July, and October. Again, this is their second box because the first one was in July. Um, so what can you expect? So you can expect one hardcover or softcover book, one tarot deck or oracle deck, one large bag of herbal tea from the Witch's Moon, one bookmark designed and created by the Witch's Moon, and one exclusive piece of artwork to include within your Book of Shadows. So I am super excited to open this. So right off the bat, I noticed that the box is white. And I just removed the address label and I pre-cut the box to make it easier. So let's take a look. Now this box does feel pretty heavy. So here we have the cheat sheet, the theme for the October 2023 Page of Cops box is up on the cross road. So we are going to put this to the side so we can read this in the end. Okay, first thing we have, we have a piece of artwork for our Book of Shadows or Grimoire. At the bottom it says Anasa Eneroi. And it says, um, Hail Hecate, Anasa, and Eroi, Queen of the Dead, she who commands all spirits and keeps the keys of souls. Come, I call upon you, Hail Hecate, the Supreme Empress, bringer of death and giver of life. Come to me now, reveal yourself to me, you who knows the secrets of all living and dead, mighty Anasa and Eroi. I come seeking your mysteries of death and rebirth. With you as witness, I bring death to that which no longer serves. Blessed with your eternal power, take my burden now. My words are my offering and my soul cleanse in your presence. I am your follower and witness to your power. Rebirth shall take place. This cannot be denied. I implore you this very night. Hail Hecate, Anasa, and Eroi, Queen of the Dead. As I speak it, it becomes so. So this is beautiful. I might be mispronouncing it a little bit. So my apologies. Also, if you hear my dogs barking in the background, they're actually outside and they're being very loud. So my apologies. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. And look at this, you guys. It feels very heavy. So this is just like filler paper. And okay, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so let's begin with this just because I am curious. It says um, chocolate Thai herbal tea. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm, it actually smells really good. I am going to show you close-ups of everything at the end as usual. Mmm, it does smell really, really good. 
and I love the case that it comes in. This is something that you can easily put in your kitchen. And yeah, I just really love it. I think the, the case for it or the jar um, that it comes in is like very practical to keep in the kitchen. This is very nice. So what else do we have in here? So here we have, oh, this is a really pretty bookmark and it has a chalice at the bottom that kind of looks like the um, symbol or the little logo for Page of Cups, which is this brand new subscription service. That is pretty cool. Here we have multiple tea bags to make our tea. And, oh, this is so cute. I love how it's wrapped. Okay, so now we have an empty box. And I love how all of the October boxes have had a similar theme all about like Samhain and Rebirth and Hecate and um, just uh, going beyond the veil and the crossroads and all that. So this is pretty cool. So look at this, you guys. I'm assuming this is going to be our deck, right? Which is going to be the star of the show, right? The whole point of this quarterly subscription service is to um, highlight a tarot deck or an oracle deck, um, hence the name Page of Cups. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. Feels like a pretty big deck. Ah, this is pretty. Which Sister Tarot by Julia Jeffrey. So look at that. Wow, this is pretty. Ready. I'm gonna open this in just a second. This is uh, published by Llewellyn and it looks like the retail price for this is typically $32.99. So right there you have half of the cost of the box pretty much. Um, this is pretty cool. It looks like this deck actually just came out too uh, in 2023. And you know, something that I really like about the Witch's Roots and the Witch's Moon um, is that whenever they include um, like your Oracle card or Tarot card uh, for the month, it just really exposes you to other decks out there, some like new artists, right? And then I have found some really good decks uh, thanks to the subscription service, right? Um, I have actually bought a couple of decks um, because I have gotten the solo cards in like my The Witch's Moon box and I've really liked the imagery on it and it's inspired me to go and get those decks. So with boxes like this, you know, we are exposed to new artists and then sometimes you know you just vibe with that certain deck um so again this is our deck in this box and it has like a little magnetic flap on the side wow this is really pretty so we have the book so this is going to be your little um handbook or manual to be able to read the cards it is a big box as you can see but it is a regular sized deck so let's go ahead and open this. I will show you close-ups soon. <laughs> and let's go ahead and open this. I'm curious to see the cards. So the cards are on the thinner side, which means they should be pretty easy to shuffle. So this is the back of the cards. Okay, so all of them look like that. Oh, wow. It looks like um, they changed the name on um, some of the cards. For example, the Empress is called the Queen of Elfame, maybe. Um, this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, let me show you this now.
All right, so that deck was really nice. And this is the very last item in the box. Again, I love the wrapping. It's so cute. And this is gonna be our book. And here we have Entering Hecate's Cave by Cindy Brennan. Um, this is really cool. Now we actually just got um, the um, Entering Hecate's Garden book in their um, deluxe Samhain box. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it right here. And um, it's so cool because I did not have this book. So I am really excited to read this. The retail price for this is $24.95. So I mean, $25 here and what, $33 here. That is the bulk of the value of the box. And of course we do have some extras, not just the deck and the book, right? But now that we're done with all the items, let's go over the cheat sheet. So let's go over that cheat sheet up on the crossroad. We have arrived here at the crossroads of our destiny, contemplating the good, the bad, and the heavy weight of responsibility that we may face ahead. Do we take the risk in moving towards our deepest purpose? Do we step back upon the weathered and well-known path? Do we finally break free of our fear of facing our darkest shadow within this long-awaited second release of the Page of Cups quarterly? We work with a very unique and beautiful set of tools to seek the journey through darkness so that we may thrive on the path ahead. The first item in this box is the Entering Hecate's Cave by Cindy Brannan, The Journey Through Darkness to Wholeness. This first edition has been published in 2023. We thoroughly enjoyed reading this book and have become truly mesmerized by the amount of information and practical guidance that can be found within Hecate's Cave. This is a must read for those who are interested in following Hecate's guiding light. The second item in this box is the Witch Sister Tarot by Julia Jeffrey. This first edition has been published in 2023 and scheduled to release in the later months. This beautiful set includes a 78 card deck and a 240 page full color guidebook. Next, we have the Anasa and Neroi Book of Shadows artwork, which we have right here. This beautiful hymn him <laughs> is from entering Hecate's cave and has been inspired by the hymn to the waning moon a greek magical papyri in item number four is our chocolate chai herbal tea with muslin bags this blend includes rubio's tea ginger green cardamom pot chocolate chips and chocolate flavoring Use approximately one tablespoon of tea for eight ounces of water. Use discretion and taste to determine brewing times and general amounts. Contains soy lecithin. And finally, we have the Hecate's Cave Bookmark. This is illustrated and designed by G. Ibis. All right, you guys. So I am really excited uh, to have received this because when they first announced this subscription, I thought that was really cool because I have been wanting to get better at my tarot and oracle of reading, right? And it's something that I have been working on. Like I pull a card every day and I really do want to get better at it. So I thought that having a subscription that is solely dedicated to that, or let me rephrase that, just kind of centered around um, tarot or oracle reading. I thought that was really cool. And this whole box was really awesome because not only do you have the star of the show, which is your deck, but you also have some extras like the book. I mean, knowledge is power. So it's always awesome when we get a book. And then we have a lot of tea here. So if you're a tea drinker, you probably really like this. And then you have your muslin bags for your tea. You have a bookmark which goes great with your book and then you have a page for your book of shadows i think the value for the box is definitely there because again 33 dollars for the deck 23 dollars for the book that's about what 58 dollars and then let's say that this is about 15 dollars your tea so you already have 73 dollars right here and then you still get your extras like 
your bookmark and your little artwork um, for your book of shadows um, of course the box itself is $62 but you do pay $11 for shipping that's how you know they come up with a $73 uh, price for the subscription I think it's a really nice treat because it is quarterly you only get this four times a year and they put together a really nice box so I really really like this let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the second edition or the second box of page of cops again this one was themed to upon the crossroads let me know which item was your favorite again a huge thank you to the team over at the witches moon for gifting me this box for a review as usual if you guys love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me bye